He's a fellow Philadelphian, actually from just outside Philly in the Huntington Valley, and he and I had a couple of classes together at Temple University, and no, I don't expect him to remember, nor that he and I bumped into each other back in the day at a restaurant near Del Ennis Lanes, and when I was visiting my aunt in Abington with my dad, who, like his, was in the supermarket biz, but you know him as a man who has been omnipresent in pop culture and the star of Full House and America's Funniest Home Videos and on Entourage as well, who, by the way, is coming to the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall this weekend. Hey, Bob Saget. Welcome to the Bruce. Morning Show. How are you? Bruce, I remember you completely. It's so good to talk to you. This is amazing. You're full of it. No, I'm not. I am. I am, but I have to go to the <laughs> restroom. But I am. I, I just remember you. We, we went to Temple. We oh. Yeah. We hung out by the equipment room. I brought Montgomery by the uh, trucks that gave great steak sandwiches. They were the best steak sandwiches. Now I, I don't go to trucks as much, but uh, yeah. I would, you know, a good steak sandwich in Philly is downtown, I guess, at Jim's. Let's promote the uh, steak sandwich in Philly downtown. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't Pat and Gino's. It wasn't. No, I, I, I don't like that cheese. I don't know what that is. It's like Play-Doh. With. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you don't want to eat something called that. No, no. Hey, you know, How, I, yeah, are you good? Everything's good? Life is great. How about you? Because it's, it's what, 4.45 there in Los Angeles? Oh, yeah, but I don't know time. I'm a comedian. We're like the armed services, you know? Yeah. We just we just get up and go, and uh, and that's I'll be, I'm leaving tomorrow yeah. to, to be there oh, so really? I can be with you. Yeah, I'm going to cool. be in, uh, well, I'm going to Orlando, and then I'm going to come right to Jacksonville. It's my, I think it's my third time in Jacksonville in about a year because huh? It's, you know, we, we comedians have to go where the com comedy was allowed. And um, I've had great times in Florida and I'm going back. It, it's really a nice theater, too. It's a small, intimate, nice theater. And there's a few seats left. Can you come to it? Can I get to see you? Well, we'll talk about that. I'd, I'd love to. It's my daughter's birthday. Otherwise, no, I would that's be there. fine. You can bring her and all her friends. She's under 18. Uh, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think what might surprise people the most when they come to see the show is what's really a result of, of COVID because you are over all the anger and negativity these days. I'm done. I'm done. And I'm also, I'm 65. So uh, we're, we're, not, we're in the same marketplace and in age, kind of. I'm older than you, I think. But I really love doing stand-up now more than I ever have. And I don't... I don't talk politics. I don't talk religion. I just want to make people laugh, you know? And I don't want dissension in the room. My job is to, I ha, I'm like the Blues Brothers, where they would knock on the door and go, we're on a mission from God. I just want to make people have a good time and have a good night out. Yeah. And we get getting ready to do a new special. So that takes, we got to go on the road. And, and that's why it's so much fun going out to places where I get to do a long set. I get to do, you know, an hour, an hour and a half, whatever feels right. I get to really play with the audience and try stuff. And it's not just all, it, I'm not as blue as I used to be. And some people go, Saget, come on. I want, I want entourage, Bob. And I'm like, okay, I'll throw them in there. But it's really kind of like uh, different versions. It's me, I was just m being myself more. And uh, I love it. I just love it. Well, we, we mellow a bit with eight. Well, some of us do. Um, yeah, right. I, I haven't as much. You've got nine, you got seven children and, and I looked up. You have a lot, you have a big life, sir. Well, when I got remarried to Christy, yeah. I, we, we do have seven kids together and two grandkids and uh, another grandkid on the way. Um, and two dogs. Uh, two, yeah. Yeah, I, go I Googled you. <laughs> I, you know, I Googled you since, you know, I kind of lost touch. Um, well, I, now I, we won't. I, I, we'll, be at, we'll be in each other's DMs. <laughs> Maybe we'll grab some nosh. Uh, I don't, when, are you get, when are you getting into town? I get into town. Well, I'm going into Orlando is when That's I arrive. I'll get, when you get to Jack's? Uh, on Saturday. So I, I get, let's talk. Okay. I, will, I will hit you up. All right, Michael has my cell. I'll have him give it to you. Um, uh, you know, I, I know you missed Santa. What's your What's your home address? <laughs> First Street in Jack's Beach. Um, you You <laughs> launched a a podcast in uh, what April of 2020 because you couldn't do stand up, and it kind of became right. a, a coping mechanism for you and your listeners. Uh, how is that now that you're going back to change up, stand your routine, which I know you're excited to get back to? Yeah. Well, I've been doing the stand up. The first place I did, I went and, and Dave Chappelle was doing in Yellow Springs. He would bring comedians out in Ohio. So I, that's the first time 
after that March 2020, it was nine months until I got to do stand up. Before that, I was supposed to be in studio with the podcast called It's My Name, Bob Saget's Here For You. That's my legal name now, the whole name of the podcast. But I just started and it meant a lot to me to do it. And it became something I love doing. There's no reason not to do it. Um, this week uh, is BJ Novak and uh, Monday is Margaret Cho. And I, you know, it's really, I had Bill Burr. I'm with Bill Burr's company now, All Things Comedy. But I've had a different, I've had amazing guests and great conversations. And I get to be completely myself. It's, it's what you do. It's what you do every morning. You're making everyone where you are on your show, you're making people feel better. And it, that's, I mean, that's my job, you know, and we get into a, the thick of it sometimes, but also it depends on if I have a comedian on Bill Burr just yells at me for 90 minutes, which is fun. And then other people are maybe Jason Sudeikis has been on and Tiffany Haddish and Whoopi Goldberg and a lot of people that I just uh, have known for years and, and, and love. So it's really a, a fun thing to do. And the stand up. Once I was able to get out there safely, uh, I, I did it. And um, I, it's, I, there's nothing like it. I've been doing it for over 40 years, as you know. I, was, I did it when we met. I was doing stand-up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I just got to say, uh, you'll know what this means. Lou Klein would be so happy and so proud. I know that you and he, Lou, Lou was big in the entertainment business, but he was also big at Temple. You were there for the dedication of the school at Temple. And he, beside the stuff in the classroom, he was like therapy for you. And you would kiss him like you would your dad. That's the kind of relationship you guys you're have. Gonna make, you're going to make me cry. He would what be are you so doing? happy. He was like a dad to me. He liked me. And, I, and I was, uh, he got me an internship on the Mike Douglas show. That was my first indoctrination into show business. So I was 19. I'd been making student films. He helped me tee up a film that I made. And I won the Student Academy Award for a documentary Dr. film. Brother. Siri. But my, ne my nephew, nephew, who had his, uh, it's hard for me to keep up, and he's doing well now. He's 50, and he had his face reconstructed when he was seven years old at Children's Hospital in Philly. I made a documentary about it. But Lou Klein cared so much about students. I, I've had a couple of those teachers. And did were you close with Lou? Did you have that relationship? Not, not as close as you, but I knew Lou. Yeah. Yeah. Very, when you get a teacher like that in your life, uh, it's it's a real gift. Anybody watching that knows what I'm saying, a great. Both of my sisters were teachers, and there's nothing like it. Yeah. If you're a good teacher, and he really, I mean, he literally helped me, yeah. and he would talk with me, and I did anything he wanted, and then we lost him um, not too long yeah. ago, which was very sad. But a big influence on both of our lives. Hey, Bob, yeah. great to chat with you. I would love to see you. I'll uh, I'll make sure that Michael gets you my contact. Um, I want to see you, so we'll figure this out. This has been, almost been like a you know a Tinder date. This has been good. <laughs> which way do I swipe? I, uh, uh, I won't say it on the air. I'll right. take it. <laughs> there there are just... Say, how, go ahead. Where am I? I'm at Ponte Vedra Concert Hall. Ponte Vedra Concert Hall. Right Hall. I'll, I'll, I, I'm going to be in the ocean, and then I'll come over. And that's Saturday night, the 8th. Yeah. And, but we'll see, we're will see. we going to see each other, so that'll be nice. Absolutely. Hey, just a few tickets left, but if you'd love to go, go see Bob, it's a great show. Uh, you can find the tickets on the uh, Florida Theater website, floridatheater.com, or Ticketmaster, Bob Saget. He's been on TV, on Broadway, won a Grammy nomination. He's going to be at the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall this coming Saturday night, January 8th. Check him out. Bob, what a great pleasure. We could all use a good laugh and a distraction these days. Have a great day. Mutual. You day. too, Bruce. And Thank you. Stay healthy and well. I will. You too. Thank you.